Hey guys, it's Tiff from Tiff's Fish and today I'm going to be doing a build video on my four gallon nano pond. Recently, I've been getting some people asking me questions like, hey, how do I make something like this? What are the steps I can take to build a tank like this? Now, obviously the tank is already built. It's been up and running for six months now, but I will try my best to give you guys detailed instructions on how to make an aquarium like this. Now, before we move on to the actual build video, I wanna preface this by saying that this is a four gallon tank, and if I could go back in time and get a six gallon tank or bigger, I would. I think for this particular setup, you definitely want a six gallon tank or bigger just to give your fish more swimming room. All right, so when I first started this tank, the first thing I did was put down a layer of substrate. Now, you can use any kind of substrate you want. You could use gravel, sand, or a nutritious substrate. It doesn't really matter. I just happened to use carib sea sand because that was what was available at my local fish store at the time. Now, in order to hold the terrestrial plants up and out of water, I actually had to create a wall made out of cereal stone. I know it's hard to see because of the lighting and the glare, but there is a wall behind all of those plants, and I'll try to use arrows to point out exactly where it is. I know that view was pretty bad, so here's a top view of what it looks like. To glue the cereal stones together, I used super glue and cotton balls. After you're done gluing your structure together, you do want to let it sit for 48 hours just to make sure all of that glue is solidified and dry before you add in your water. You can choose any stone you like, I just chose cereal stone because I like how it looks. After 48 hours have passed and your structure is solidified, you want to go ahead and fill in that gap with a nutritious substrate. This type of substrate is important for this part because you're going to be planting the terrestrial plants directly into this area. I happen to use aqua soil in this case, and as you can see, that cereal stone wall that I made is holding all of that aqua soil in on the left and preventing it from spilling out onto the sand. This is what my tank looks like from the back, and you can see here that that aqua soil is really doing its job. Look at all of those healthy roots. About every three months, I will add some Seacomb Flourish root tabs into the aqua soil and into the sand. Now moving on to the filtration in this tank, I am using a Azu Mignon 60 hang on the back filter. This has got to be the most quiet filter I have ever owned. Like sometimes I have to check the tank to make sure that the filter is still running. <laughs> For the light, I am using a Lomini Asta 20 in the freshwater color. This is the side view of the right side of my tank. Since I'm keeping a betta fish in this tank, I do want my water to be around 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. To achieve that temperature, I'm just using a nano high gear heater, and it's just tucked away in the back there. I think that's it for the build video. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to comment below and I'd be happy to answer all of your questions. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider leaving a like or even subscribing. I love sharing my content with all of you, and if you want to see build videos for my other tanks, let me know in the comments below.